Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another Twisted League video. So here we go, 90 prayer. I still have 9 levels to go on till 99 and I am at 125 combat right now. So let's get the gains. Alright, uh, temple key achieved. That, that <laughs> didn't take too long. It's like 100 bones after I activated the altar. Pretty nice though. So the main goal for this video is to get 99 prayer along with a couple of other 99s along the way. But I just hit 75 crafting and my first goal is going to be 80 crafting for glory. Okay, so it's been a while and I've got 254,000 crafting and I just hit 92 prayer and I need to get to 98 for max combat. So picking up a new task and I just bought 30,000 broad bolts to fletch and that is going to be almost exactly enough for 99 fletching. So the first 99 we will get in this video will definitely be fletching. That went by very fast. It took me about 70 red dragon kills to get this and 99 fletching when fletching between the shots of the crossbow. 250 points with 750 broad bolts left so yeah so i actually just hit over 200 million total experience 600k above that been afking a bit and i'm only 500k off getting that 500 points for 50 mil ranged another crafting level incoming after this one i will get 76 so only four more levels to go until i can make the glory i already have the dragon stone in the banks so it will be very easy to do when i have the level 80. So I actually missed it, I got it on my phone, and you can see my points is 11,000, almost 500, but I got 50 million ranged, and I'm currently 93 prayer, I recently hit that as well. Each one of these levels is really slow, it's like 2.5-3 hours for one level, but that is 77 crafting down, 3 more levels to go. EC94 prayer coming in. It took a massive amount of time. I think I've killed like 700 red dragons by now, but that is a 97 slayer. Pretty nice. Only two more levels to go until that 99, which is one of the slower ones. Coming in with another 99, I swapped to magic, so I wouldn't go way too overboard with ranged experience when I can get a free 99. 99 magic. When I click this away, I will get the 250 points. There we go. Almost at 12k points. Ooh, 78 crafting. Nice, nice. Getting the gains. So I'm actually going to do quite a bit of Hydra boss because it's actually not that bad prayer experience because it drops Hydra bones and also has a chance of getting the 30 dragon bones not a drop. But I just got 76 herb lore so I thought I would record that. So I just did a 6 kill trip and look 12 Hydra bones and 60 dragon bones. I was really lucky on the dragon bones drops though so you can't expect 60 per 6. I'm not sure if I already have this but otherwise that is 3 Celestra seed which is actually a challenge for the league to make a battle staff inside of the farming guild so can do that whenever I want. Okay so in the last video I ended on 25 kill count and this is now going to be kill count number 50 with no unique drops except the mystic items of course but uh, no ring pieces or dragon hunter lance or anything. So this is all the bones that I got and I'm going to get my Cerex talisman out and teleport to- wait, wait, what? What? Did I wear it this entire time? Oh my god. How did I not notice I was wearing this all these kills? Oh, uh, whatever. I didn't really notice much of a difference anyways. Okay, first prayer level coming in with the Hydra bones. 95 prayer. Only three more until max combat. Alright, so that is the, all the dragon bones used and hydra bones and uh, I did not get 96 prayer. And you can see on the side here I got a total of 718,000 prayer experience from that. But with some more red dragons killed I am now 96 prayer. So we're really getting close to 99. I don't want to get any calculations wrong so I'm just going to use all my 29 dragon heads and I want to get to 97 prayer using that. They're like 31,200 experience each. So this is going to be 97 prayer, it means only one more prayer level until I am maxed combat, that is going to be so nice to see. So I did 15 more hydra kills and I got 30 hydra bones and 30 dragon bones, but I'm out of food right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 26 grubby keys and get some more. So now is actually a good time to use the temple key because there's a shortcut you can use that will make this so fast. First league task completed, 10 grubby chests for 50 points. I'm really low on prey potions so these grimy runner weeds is perfect. Next grubby chest task after this one is at 50 so I won't reach that but 25 completed for 50 more points. So before I continue killing Hydra, I already killed a few but I want to get my glory because it would be such a good upgrade and uh, therefore I'm going to open 11 brimstone chests so you hope for some gems or something. I would say that's pretty good, 69 diamonds and 300 gold ores. The gold ores are actually mostly smithing experience, but yeah, that's not too bad. Here we go, this is also going to be 100 points for getting 80 crafting. 
And I'm really close to 2k total, which is also very nice. It took me a very long time to get 80 crafting with 10 times experience. So let's get this glory and it is going to be so nice. Did I just wear my Xerix Talisman again to Hydra? Dude, I am the most stupid person ever. Another milestone kill count incoming. I do think these 75 kill counts is 50 points. Yeah, 50 points. So it's not the best really, but it's some extra points that I get as I'm going to be killing the Hydra anyways for quite some time. This will be the last Hydra kill of the video. I just don't have enough supplies left. So, oh, Dragon Bones. That's really good, but I ended at 81 KC. Here we finally go, man. 98 prayer that means max combat level and only one more level to go until this extremely slow skill is completed that feels so good so i'm actually going to get 99 prayer through blood welds because i don't want to be way too far off on slayer and i want to get the ensouled heads from the blood welds meanwhile also getting really good slayer experience so that i can hit 99 prayer fairly close to actually hitting 99 slayer well, this is awkward. I have 3 HP and I just got a superior. I am about to get completely destroyed. Maybe I can actually die. I'm going to try flinch, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hit eventually. Yeah, there you go. But maybe I can run back and actually tag it in time to still, to still keep it. Come on, please be there still so I can protect melee. Oh, it's still there. Please. Oh, nice. I got it. Okay, sweet. All right, let's see what the loot is. Uh, yeah, totem top. Wait, that means... I think that's the last piece, so that means I can make a totem. I think I already have one in the bank as well, so that would be two future Scotiza kills. Okay, so another superior in like the worst timing ever when I have no food and no prayer, but I'm just going to flinch it like this now. I uh, realized I wasn't doing it correct before, but I don't even know if this is faster than just dying and running back. Probably would be faster to just die and run back, but I'm already half there, so... Let's see if we can get this kill. And by the way, I'm actually really close to 99 uh, Slayer. Look at this, 57,000 experience. And this is going to give me 41,000 when I kill it. So after this, I have six left only. So I will have to get another task. But after this, I will be pretty much done with 99 Slayer. And we will have a look at how many Ensouled Heads I have after that. Yeah, nothing too interesting from that kill. But as always, another Ensouled Head. So this is going to be my last blood veld. When it dies, I get 99 Slayer and I get 250 points. That was quite a grind, but I'm very happy it's over. And uh, let's see my current points. Over 12k. Uh, I'm not sure what actually gave me the 60 points to get. Maybe it was the grubby chest or something to get over 12k. But yeah, that's done now. Should turn my prayer off. Let's go to the bank and see how many unsold heads I have in total. So I don't actually think we have enough heads. I need 48 if I were to go from level 98 that I'm currently at to 99. Let's see how many we have. I think I put them in this tab. Okay, so we have 31. That's a very good amount. So I'm going to use all of these and then I still will need like 300,000-ish experience, I think. And I will do that on the normal red dragons, which is going to be roughly, I think, 80 KC. So it's uh, not that bad, but would have been nice to get it on these Bloodville heads, but what can you do? So that is all the insult heads used and my current experience left to 99 prayer is 346,000. And I just calculated how many dragon balls that is and it is 81. So time to kill 81 red dragons. I'm going to do it off task because I really can't be arsed running all the way to corner and getting a task. And uh, yeah, after 99 prayer we have like 7 brimstone keys to open as well. Uh, not really anything I need from that, but supplies is good, I guess. This is going to be 99 prayer incoming. All my combo stats will be maxed when this dragon dies. It was a very long grind. I don't actually know how long it took me to get 99 prayer in this video from like 89 or 90, I think. But it was a very long time. I would say maybe 30 hours, 40 hours of grinding only prayer. So I'm actually going to get 99 thieving as well in this video and I'm going to do it on stone chests because it gives a decent amount of crafting experience along the way and also some snapdragon and rainar seeds. Also of course lizardman fangs and amulets that I can use for future teleports. So it's going to be very beneficial in general. Pretty huge level incoming here, 91 thieving but it is huge because that is the level I needed for 2k total. Which means I will get, I think it is 250 points, so there we go, 250 points and a nice 2k total experience so far is 64k crafting for almost 2 million thieving. 
The last milestone level before I get 99, 98, and look at that. I have a total of 1.2k fangs. I have in total got like, I think, 7 or 8 amulets over the course of getting this 99. That means I have over 13k points now as well. But look at this. I have, uh, by the way, all the rubies that I got, I fletched into or crafted into the ruby ball tips. I have almost 1k of those. And I'm going to dismantle all these. I already dismantled some other ones before uh, saving them up. But look at that. I can now 1,000 charges on the necklace with 1.5k almost fangs left. So 2.5k teleports. I'm not going to need more of those in the future is all I have to say. And 8 million thieving experience with almost 300k crafting along the way. So I completed some of the medium clues that I got from thieving and I got 9 caskets. I had to drop like 5 of them I think because of a step that I can't do, the one with the adamant. I don't think there is a task for 25 medium clues. There might be, maybe for like 10 points or something. But I will reach that with these 9 and that's why I did it. So let's see what I can get from these. I don't really need anything specific. I mean, Ranger Boots is not really that great, I guess. I mean, I would be happy if I got them, but uh, yeah. Oh, wait, Adamant. Oh, that's the normal ones. Or not the normal ones, I mean. Uh, I don't know. Can you use trimmed items for clue scroll steps? Not sure about that. Okay, there is a uh, task for that. 25 medium clues. So, obviously not the best loot, but you can't really expect much from medium clues, but I want to see how many points that is. 50? That is actually not bad. I thought it would be way less. It's so easy to do 25 mediums. So I've been doing some farm runs, meanwhile doing thieving from the seeds that I got, and I have one Raynor seed left. Uh, I can soon pick up, if it doesn't die, a Snapdragon one and a Raynor. And then, of course, this one as well. So in the end, I should have like 50 potions maybe that I can use. And so with that, with 50 prayer potions, I will be able to start raiding for a while at least. And I've never done raiding before and that is what the next video is going to be focused primarily about. Me learning how to raid and hopefully getting my first one or a couple of kills. We will have to see how hard it will be. Um, but as well, I will probably hit 100 KC Hydra in the next video, which is going to be pretty cool. And I really hope for a ring drop or, or I mean ring piece drop. Or, uh, yeah, something that I can really use. So, that is over 13k points. I don't remember where I started in this video, but I got 99 thieving, 99 magic, 99 slayer, 99 fletching. And I think that's it, in terms of 99s. But that is some really good progress. I mean, just 1000 points from getting 99 in those. Also 500 points from, of course, 50 million range. And I'm almost at 60 million already. So... Getting some really good progress done and from raids and alchemical hydra and stuff like that I will still get more ranged experience so that would be very nice but that is going to do it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy it and if you did please leave a like it means a lot and if you want to see more of my content And you want to see when I do attempt raids and hopefully get some good loot from that then make sure to subscribe Alright have a good one